Greetings everyone, here is Lodric again and this is the game War in the Pacific at Mets Edition. This is my play by Ema Match against Kiloi. This is scenario 1 on the GNU game version 27 and uh, the Allies, the Americans, have the working mark, or the working torpedoes at the start of the war as an additional uh, benefit for Kiloi to fight me here. This is now the last days of March, so it means the last days of the Japanese invasion. Amphibish load unload bonus. Uh, I was able to uh, finish my landing in Darwin and at uh, Sidon. So this is both successfully. Here is a Mark 14 American submarine hitting my cargo ship. And because uh, there is no buff or debuff better to say against his uh, American torpedoes he can use his submarines already like uh, in 44 with full effect the problem is that the Japanese uh, anti-submarine equipment is first mm, really good in 43 so there is a period of time so normally the next uh, 12 months uh, I'm in a handicap against American submarines but uh, I think it's okay, that is fair. I offer Kilroy also if uh, I more or less keep the Kwantung army in uh, North China, uh, but he choose more or less with the walking torpedoes. So not much more activity at night. Some ship just hit a mine. Not my own ship, American ship, somewhere on the map. This you can always see in the combat report at the end of the turn. A little, I, I don't know exactly why, you can read in the combat uh, report what ship hit where a mine, but here on the, on the turn you will not get any information directly. This is strange, I would say, because why you don't show it on the map if the turn is running? If you later say where, which ship hit the mine. Good, anyway, so I bombard here the ground forces. Because, why not? And there's no better target, no ships more important. And there's also no aircraft uh, covering the space, so I can inflict damage. Burn more supplies. And hope that the uh, Kilroy's army starved to death. All over the map, ground attack, especially against his uh, British forces in Burma. And I also try to get rid of this uh, Dutch forces uh, in Lens. Because I don't want to move there, there's no road and uh, yeah, it will cost me long, a lot of time. And I also have no forces left. All of my ground forces are busy. And I finally moved some Tojos over after I had some um, aviation support and I tried to get rid of this airstrike. And my Tojos also had nothing to do I think so far this war and now I was able to kill this SP3s and maybe damage this Hudson's. So with a little luck this uh, airstrikes from Kilroy in South China are over. Bad weather, so I cannot run my torpedo strikes. But at least some ships, you know, some aircraft find the target. Some DMS, so destroyer minesweepers. Torpedo hit, normally one hit, one kill. That is nice. Even the second kill, uh, second hit. So Traver is for sure dead. Three hits now. 
tell us one ship less because my uh, pilots can do it they try to attack the now they will destroy us but these ships have better kept and more maneuver value or uh, my pilots fail Then the finally the land battles, some Boba with Nai Chang to burn more supplies. And I try to kick out these British forces out of the junk road. But uh, this attack more or less not a failure but uh, it showed me that the defender is uh, low on supplies but I also cannot really achieve a victory uh, uh, the terrain is I think in favor for the defender I'm not sure if it's double I think it's triple terrain so uh, maybe I simply hold on there's an uh, empty bases here is a Dutch force Still hanging on. There's now the light bombardment. Not changing too much. Well. So more like a soft turn. No critical land battle. I'm thinking a destroyer minesweeper, okay. Losing a cargo ship on my own. Well. Sounds like a very common day in World War II for the Japanese. So there was no real air battle, so there were very light losses on both sides. I was only able to intercept this SP-3s in South China or North Vietnam. Um, also one Hudson's, so three incoming bombers getting destroyed or out of action now. Uh, plus a dive bomber and a transport plane and I lost a recon plane. But my pilot is also dead, okay. Pilot and airplane both lost, can happen. Ship sunk, so for me it was a better cargo ship. Mm. Yeah, can happen. And I was able to destroy a Clemson class destroyer rebuilt for a destroyer minesweeper. Okay, not the best trade. I mean, for sure, it's this would normally be in favor for the Allies, but whoa, it's still okay. Not a disaster. Here in Tokyo, I still cling on around the one million resources. I think this is a minimum you must have uh, to guarantee a uh, well. Running industry in mainland China, uh, mainland Japan or home islands, and the supplies are now going clicking up to over 100,000. So I can now start to export supplies uh, or with higher quantity. So keep me 50,000 supplies in Tokyo, I would say, is a minimum, and then everything else on top you can move around wherever you need it or want it. So, no big change in China. Really nothing. My army just arrived here, so I start to invade now Sichuan. Uh, we still have these two Chinese forces are blocked in Aichang and Nanchang. And I will maybe also slowly move here in the center more. Ignore these two Chinese armies and maybe take Sichuan and the center of China. Yeah. And don't fight the Chinese, only take the cities. I was not able to... Uh, Achieve a victory in this hex. It is a yeah, jungle rough. Yeah, this triple. And uh, yeah, 
but I can maybe still hmm, maybe lock this British forces also in this hex and then I don't know how is the supply situation running in the future for Kilroy. So far now we can bring here maybe supplies over this hex and then here down. If I take all the dot bases, then I maybe have the chance to starve this British. Because I don't know if there is a difference between Chinese and British forces with supplies out of the hex. I think the British need real supplies like Japanese. Yeah. And in Cylon I still only unload and build up my forces. Get here supplies, it's okay. I have local air force here, my army is here, so I scan slowly now. After no after I unload my equipment, I don't must rush this more, I can more or less take Cylon and step by step. Oh yeah, maybe the last forces in North Sumatra will soon be uh, put in prison. Timor is also, I think, a matter of days only that the Dutch forces are surrender. In Darwin, I still need more supplies to really feed my army before I can uh, push forward source. Uh, I have here a Czech ship or a scout, more or less. Townsville, how is the situation in Townsville? Because I was Sure, there's a minefield or something or anything else I would hit, but looks like empty. And uh, I have here now my invasion fleet, so maybe next turn I will make an invasion for Townsville and hope that there's not too many Australian forces waiting for me. Because my time is nearly up, so I have only two, three days. First of April, there's no unload bonus more for me. Good. New Caledonian is stalemate. I see here a big fleet, maybe this is a Kilroy's battleship fleet coming for making uh, the next bombardment against Komak or wherever on New Caledonian. Uh, this is a lonely destroyer left, my torpedo bombers wasn't able to sink. Marshall Islands looks fine, I try to get more supplies in, they're coming. I bombard now here the ground forces because there's no air force and no ships left, but uh, air for uh, ground force I can also take out. It's all points for me and less uh, fighting capital or yeah. Potential forces for uh, Kilroy left to throw on me later on. Oh, I don't really have here much more to say. Ah uh, yeah, we can maybe check the combat report and where was his mine hit. Ah uh, yeah, so. Oh, here's a mine hit, oh, there's an allied ship hit a mine, a submarine, but uh, no heavy damage or something like this. Uh, I think maybe the Japanese mines are not so strong, but it's good to always uh, hurt submarines, um, so they must turn around. And this is the same submarine you can see. First the submarine make a successful attack against my cargo ship. And later it was greedy and tried to attack uh, uh, directly in port. And uh, here is uh, my minefield with, yeah, you can see 300 mines normally, but now one mine gets consumed because there was a submarine one into it. So, and yeah, keep in mind, you need one tender for 150 mines. And the size of the tender doesn't matter. So I always use the cheapest mine tenders, this are this one point ships, you have many of these ships at the start of the war and I convert them normally all to local mine sweepers or local mine tenders. Uh, you have also big mine tenders and mine sweepers but I always you know, convert them to uh, patrol ships normally. I only use this 2100 endurance ship for uh, mine tending, mine sweeping. Good. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.